Hi everybody! So I wanted to take you guys along with me while I have some ripe black mission figs. Okay fig fanatics out there, who is a fig lover, a fig fanatic, a lover of figs like Miss Stace here guys? Oh my gosh, how can you not love figs? To me, any type of fig is the best fig. Adriatic figs are heavenly, those deep red ones. Calamurna figs are exquisite and black mission figs are just phenomenally good. Kadota figs are amazing, same with brown turkey figs. And so those are the five that I've tried so far out of the uh, hundreds of different varieties of figs out there in the world, you know. Um, but I have, um, all that's been available to me lately has is been um, Kadota figs. Lots of Kadota figs and lots of um, Black Mission figs here, guys. So um, I figured since I didn't do a Black, uh, black Mission fig um, video, we're gonna, we'll do that one. We have to do that one, right, guys? We have to share all the different types of figs here that we're trying or that we have in our Alaskan fruit and veggie raw vegan stash, right? Okay, guys, and also real quick, I don't know if you guys, it's been staring you in the face, those cotton candy grapes. Holy mackerel, these are seriously cotton candy. I had these last year. They are the most phenomenal grape you have ever tasted. They seriously, cotton candy, it's amazing. And then, um, okay guys, so I like to let my figs ripen until they get um, kind of fuzzy, kind of moldy on the outside. As with all my fruit, I like to let ripen until it gets little moldy spots on them. Because I have found when you let your fruit fully ripen, it's usually to the point to where it starts. Um, they start getting like dimples and dents in them and they start getting kind of moldy and that's when they are absolutely superb on the inside. Okay, and the figs, I love waiting until, of course, they're nice and plump and soft and ooh, splitting over, split or splitting over, splitting open, you know. Oh, my, my mouth is watering, you guys. My mouth is watering. Let's dig into these, okay? Um, but, uh, okay, so let's get one that's not split open so we can do this right. But, oh my gosh, these should be nice and nice and plump there, guys. Sorry about the lighting if the lighting's bad. I'm not a professional at this YouTube stuff, you guys, so bear with me. Bear with me. But I like to pop off the top. Um, there shouldn't be any like milky white substance coming off because that's telling you that the fruit isn't ripe yet and I know that's also used like I mentioned in another fig video that that's um, the fruits mechanism type thing to ward off bugs and stuff and to tell you that hey I ain't ready to be eaten yet that's why I like to let them get kind of moldy um, cause then you don't have any of that white residue. So let's split it on open. Oh my gosh. Oh, and some of them, I noticed for some figs that they get this, um, sort of brownish color in them and that it just, oh, the flavor is delectable. But there's some figs where when you get a really perfect fig, the color is just so deep and full of like jam type sweet jam figgy jam and um the color is deep purplish red on the inside but these are these are super ripe also they just have um slightly different tint to them but they are so amazing <laughs> i'm gonna chop this like it i'm sorry i'm sorry guys mm. Mm. I love everything about the fig. I eat everything, including the outside. And that's another thing is they don't burn your mouth when you let them get fully ripe because a lot of people eat figs and they get, they say, oh, it burns my mouth though. It's like, you're not eating it when it's fully ripe, you silly people. You silly, silly people, you. <laughs> and so this way I eat the whole thing and my mouth does not burn so I can enjoy as many as I want without a burnt mouth, you know. Mmm. <gasps> it's so sweet. Perfect on digestion, my goodness. Mmm. And when the figs are in Miss Dice's house here, guys, 
It's the only thing I eat until they're gone because figs are one of my top favorite fruits. Okay, guys, so hopefully this video, guys, um, helped you guys in some way. Mm. Enjoy those figs if you have access to fresh figs. Get figs in your life. Become a fig fanatic. Try all the different types of figs that you can get your hands on. Mm. I know that's always my goal all the time because I love being raw. I don't know about you guys. But I will stop babbling here, guys. I will stop babbling. Remember to love being raw, you guys. Put a big old smile on your face today. Mm, excuse me. I hope I did that for you guys. And I'll see you guys next video, okay? Bye, guys.